Hello everyone. I hope you are enjoying your holiday. Uh, I told you, I promise you, they will cancel the school on Thursday and Friday. And now, here we are. You have two days off to study for my exam. Okay, so this question. It says the figure is a histogram of the number of servings of fruit per day claimed by 74, uh, 17 year old um, girls. So we have 74 individuals or observations. And then we have, I, I fixed this uh, class intervals. So we have the first class intervals from zero to one fruit per day. The second class interval one to two fruit per day, per day, two to three fruit per day, and so on. You see eight to nine. So if we say zero to one means one is not included, zero is included, and then one is included in the second interval, two is included in the third interval. So this is the way we explain this histogram. I explained this question in the class, but uh, I solved it in my last class in the dif uh, in different way. So I wanted to uh, show this way to everyone. Like uh, I opened everything and I spread out all the observations. So it will be much easier for you to understand if you didn't uh, understand it well. So uh, on the Y axis, as you know, we have frequency. What frequency means? means we have the number of individuals who, for example, serve zero fruit per day. So we have 15 individuals serve just zero fruit per day. 11 individuals serve one fruit per day, 15 individual, individuals two fruit per day, and then you can explain the rest. Okay, so we have 15, 11, 15, 11, 8, 5, 3, 3, 3. If you add them all, you should have 74. It says, with a little care, you can find the median and quartiles from the histogram. So, in class, I explained we can use this formula, n plus 1 divided by 2, to find the location of median. So, we have 74 individual plus 1 divided by 2 gives us the location of median, which is 37.5. So median is individual between this one and this number. This is the location, okay? So now we know the location of median. So what we should find? Observation number 37, observation number 38. So how I organize this? Look, so I said, this is the first interval. As you saw, we had 15 individual in the first interval. So I'm ranking them from the first one to the 15. So I wrote down all the individuals in the first interval. And then second interval, we have observation number 16 up to 26. Why? Because we had 11 individual there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then the third interval, 15 individual. I wrote down number 27 to 41. And then up to the last interval, which is a 9 interval, we have just 3 individuals, 3 individuals, 3 individuals. Okay, so I ranked them from the first individual to individual number 74. So now you, you see all these individuals here. We have 15 girls here. And imagine they are all lined in a line and uh, they are like organized. Okay, so now I was looking for observation number 37 and observation number 38 to find the median, which is between these two. So look, 15 individual here. 16, 17, 18, up to observation number 37 and 38. So which interval they are in? They are in the third interval. So first interval, second interval, this is the third interval. 
And then as you remember in class, I told you, median is located in a third interval. Means median is observation, which picks or serves, sorry, serve two fruits per day. Okay, so this was median, correct? We want to find first quartile. So we should know that first quartile is in this interval. One observation from the minimum to the one observation before median. When I show that on x-axis, it doesn't mean our observations are here. It means 15 observation, 11 observation, and some observation in this interval are uh, in the first data set. So what that means, look, median was between these two. Means here we had median between these two. So if you remember first quartile from the first observation to the one observation before median, because median was observation number 37.5. So 37 is one observation before median. So we should find the Q1 between all these 15 and up to 37. So I said, now let's think that we are finding the midpoint for the first data set. We have 37 observations plus one divided by two. This gives us location for the Q1 because Q1 is the midpoint of this data set. So 19. So 19 is the Q1. So now you see that observation number 19 falls in second interval. So Q1 is somewhere here. Correct? So Q1 is an observation that picks or serve one fruit per day. Okay, so this was Q1. Now how we find Q3? Okay. Q3 is the midpoint for the observation after median to the last observation number 74. So obviously, if we had half data set on the left side of median, we have half data set on the right side of median. If we had 37 observation on the left side, we have 37 observation on the right side. So again, we can use the same method. 37 plus 1 divided by 2 because we want a midpoint for this data set. Again, we have 19. So 19 from where? From here, from observation number 38. So we, sh we should count. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So observation number 56 is Q3 because this is a midpoint for the second data set. So observation number 56, which is Q3, falls in fifth interval. One, two, three, four, five. Means it should be here. So it's obvious because our data set was from one observation after median to the end. Okay, so another way I told you, you can say, okay, 19 and count from the one observation after median. But what you can do, you can say, I know this is a 19 after median, but I don't want to count like this. So what you will do, you will say, okay, I know I had 37 observations before median plus... 19 observation after that. So what do you get? So if you want to count from the first observation, you already had 37 here, and then you're looking for 19 more. So 37 and 19 more is 56 observation. So either you could count using 19 from the one, in t uh, one observation after median, or you could count from the first observation and find the location because you know already you had 37 observation before this observation number 38. Okay, I hope this was helpful and uh, I will see you on 
Monday for your exam, be on time. Again, I'm telling you, be on time and study well or study hard and uh, kind of enjoy your holiday too. Take care. We'll see you. Bye.